Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We hope you are celebrating big with your families and eating lots of healthier options for Thanksgiving. Follow us to the kitchen as we prepare a perfect Thanksgiving meal with a healthier spin. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and like us on YouTube and subscribe. Hit that bell. Let's get cooking. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, I'm Chef Ashley and I'm bringing cornbread dressing to Choices Friendsgiving. Let's get started. So a tip I like to do, I like to roast my vegetables for my cornbread dressing. So we're gonna chop up our bell pepper, our celery, our carrots, and our mushrooms and get them roasted. We're gonna leave the leaves intact and we're gonna throw this on our sheet tray. I'm gonna cut them into portions based upon the thickness. So carrots that are a little thicker, we'll Split in half, thinner carrots we will leave whole. It's a great base just to have in your freezer. All right. Now we have some onions, some herbs, and mushrooms already ready to go. We have parsley, sage, and thyme. And we have some whole mushrooms. Combine those on our and we're gonna spread them out. And these mushrooms are gonna give us some great meat alternative and give us that meat texture we're looking for. And then we're gonna use some whole garlic cloves. All right, so we are now ready to season and oil up our vegetables to be ready to be roasted. So we're gonna put some olive oil all over our pan. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper. And this is just to get started. So we don't wanna to add too much salt or too much pepper to this. It's just enough to start bringing those flavors out in our dishes. All right, and let's toss it together and just kind of move everything around a little bit. And we're gonna stick this in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes, just till the vegetables are tender. We don't want them overcooked. All right, let's go to the oven. All right, our vegetables are done roasting. We are gonna get ready and let these rest for a few minutes and then we are gonna parade them. All right, so we have our roasted vegetables. We're gonna scoop them into our blender. And I'm making sure I got the woody stems of my herbs like such for my thyme. I'm stripping those so that the woody stems don't go in our dish. I like to parade our vegetables because it gives us a nice flavor balance. We get a little bit of everything in one bite and it's gonna, uh, you're gonna have great texture to your dish. It's gonna give great flavor all at the same time. And it's a secret, you can add, like if you had butternut squash, you had zucchini, you can always add more vegetables, the choices way, to a dish by just hiding a few, just by making them into a puree. So if those kids are picky eaters, you have coming to Thanksgiving dinner, here you go. They don't even know they're having it because guess what, it's all combined into one dish. All right, so we have our vegetables and I'm gonna put a few spoonfuls as we're blending up of our chicken. This is a chicken base that we have, a chicken broth that I have ready to go. It has some of our turkey drippings in it. And you just want enough liquid in here to help your vegetables blend up. All right, so now we're ready to blend. I'm just gonna do it on the puree action. So let's say you don't have a blender at home. If you have a mixer at home, a food processor, or if you just need to simply use like a whisk or a potato masher, you can do that to your desired consistency. You don't have to have the fancy equipment to make this puree. All right, so let's make our dressing. We're gonna start off with one box of dressing. We're gonna use some cornbread mix. And we're gonna mix that together. All right, now we're gonna add our ricotta or cream cheese. All 
All right, now we're gonna add in our vegetable puree. Normally you have like a sausage of some sort in it or some meat. This is gonna be really tasty without having the meat and it's gonna be less calories, less fat because the vegetables are gonna add lots of fiber to it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to add to our cornbread dressing is our chicken jus, or you can use chicken broth, chicken stock, or just water. And we're gonna use this just enough to moisten up those, that dry dressing. Again, because once you start baking this in the oven, those vegetable puree, that vegetable puree, will also moisten up and release some more liquid. So we need just enough. All right, and then we're gonna add our eggs. So we're gonna use two eggs. And if you're vegan, vegetarian, and do not like using eggs, you can use an egg substitute like flak meal or just egg to combine your dish. We are ready to bake our cornbread dressing. So let's spray our dish. And we're gonna layer our dressing in. Another way to make your cornbread dressing and portion it out is using it in a muffin tin and make cornbread dressing muffins. So everyone has their own personal muffin. Great for portioning sizes, great for other meal prep time. So if you have any leftover batter, you can do that also. All right, let's go in the oven 350 for about 35 minutes.